So we were just able to cover the cost of that first uh, of that anchors away thing that we bought for a rabid peach to get us through the first challenge. Good God. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz. Welcome to Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Although I should probably stop playing now. I want to finish off the rest of Spooky Trails before we do anything else in the lava pit because that is everything with the secret chapter. We're missing six chests now and I think I know where they are, but that's just going to involve a little bit of us walking around and seeing exactly what it is we got to do to further our interests. So one of the ones I know we need to go by is a like like a mirror puzzle that I screwed up and just kept walking past. It was another one of those instances where it's really easy to miss, but at the same time, it really was like mm, not really any reason to miss it. Now, can we do this? No. Do I need you to be red? Because I remember that swampy area up there. We definitely need to go through that and for some reason I just remember it being annoying. But we can try, I guess. Is this correct? Also, I, I was thinking about it, and I don't think I'm going to have this footage go up uh, as late as I thought, or maybe not even as early. Oh, shoot, I can't even do that. All right. Well, goes to show how much I remember of this. I don't know what it is about me and my reluctance to play these kinds of games without a guide. Uh, I think it just ends up hurting the project even more. Because that's what people usually look for in these kinds of videos, is how to beat certain battles and the best way to do it. And even then, they're not looking for commentary. I mean, I'm um, a victim to this as well. When I'm looking up how to do stuff, I would rather prefer to see a text guide, to be completely honest. And uh, I rarely will look at a video for fear of, you know, having to listen to some dumb dumb talk over it and not know what they're doing and then have wasted my time because this video only has 50 views and whoever was watching clearly was not getting what they wanted out of it. So, I don't know. I just feel like this is, this is definitely a coping mechanism, these videos. It's just something for me to watch in 10 years and cringe at and then <laughs> never actually watch again, but... I don't know. They're fun to do, and I'm glad I'm doing them now. It's just being able to play games, talk over them. I, I don't feel the need to justify it, but here I am. What's up? Oh, what if they catch him? Yeah. D d don't know what to tell you. But uh, yeah, now that we're completely OP, it's going to be kind of hard to do anything without it being not challenging you know it's gonna lack of a challenge is gonna be something we'll be facing here but uh the last time we were here we were faced with unbreakable blocks and we never ended up returning here so let's go and break these open and push some of this over because you are gonna take us to some treasure right and a shortcut okay what is this this is this over here oh you know what i know what this is so this is like a weird way to do this but we don't really need to come up. Can we even do this? Yes, we can. We just can't go the other way, it seems. So there's a statue down there in the muck, in the mire, that we can't quite reach. So if we head up here, let us go along the top side. Yeah, there we go. And then we can reach it. So here we go. And we head on back, and now we can lower this thing. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I think where the other end of that pipe with the yellow block in front of it will take us is next to our final, well, maybe our second to final challenge, but we have two treasures here. That's always a fun thing. So, ooh, power orbs, thank you. Certainly we'll put those to good use. And you will have some geometry, Rabbit Yoshi, a 3D model. Perfect. All right, so that's two out of the six that we were looking for, but since we can't go this way, we have to unlock it the other way, which is, again, one of my biggest gripes that is starting to become more and more prevalent and annoying to me is just the amount of overworld excursioning that we need to do. I don't like it. It's not fun. It's not really all that clever. It's not like, it's not the worst in the world, but you can't even jump. And half of our movement is inhibited by the fact that we are controlling a little robot. 
So, yeah. A little Roomba 2.0 here is just going to be a pain. So, this is one that we did on accident. And if we... Hold on. So, we found some treasure here. This will take us back to the swamp, I think. So, we don't want to go there yet. I want to keep going this way. Yeah, we were going to keep going this way. Uh, back when we completed that puzzle. That was a really easy one. I felt real dumb not being able to do, like, right off the top of my head. I mean, I figured it out and I did it, but <laughs> here we go. This guy, super hard. Challenge nine, the return engagement. What do we got here? What is this? So I haven't practiced any of the challenges, but um, I already mentioned it before. I was just looking for treasure, but this is where th this guy is. Oh my God, again? Good Jesus. All right, how many turns did we have to beat this in under? Um, well, let's just take a look. We got some support that's gonna heal everyone. Oh, I know what to do here. I know what to do here. All right, battle HQ. Let's hit up the old fashioned wombo combo. Yeah. Oh, I can't do that. I've been commentating for almost two hours. Uh, as for skills, or, um, can't really afford anything. I just got 10. It's not going to be worth it. Uh, yeah, what about you? Yeah, there are no cliffs here. Nah, we're fine. Although, uh, yeah, we're good. So I'm thinking. <laughs> We're probably good here. I was thinking, oh, you know what we could do? Here, let's power us up as we do. I wanted to have old Yoster use his dire do said, yeah, this thing. So if I attack everyone here, they're gonna be real hurt. But it would be kind of a waste, right? It would, it would definitely be a waste. Because Rabid Mario can just go over there, sing his music, and then it'd be good. Yeah, whatever. It's still going to take two turns to beat all these guys anyway, so might as well just give it the old... Oh, oh great. Now they're honeyed. I did not realize that was a honey machine. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right. Well, I guess some people aren't going to be joining us. <laughs> okay, we'll try that. We'll see how that goes. And if I can... Hmm... I probably should be a little bit careful with how I do things. Okay, this is fine. Some people can join us. What's up, nerds? I guess you missed me? Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for this. Why not? All right, hey, suckers. Mm, beautiful. Nice. Love it. All right. So, uh, Yoshi does not have the movement, nor can he attack. So if I did something dumb like this. It would kill him. Cool. Yeah, I should probably have Mario end up killing old Calavera. You know, that sucker. Actually, Mario can't even reach Yoshi, can he? No, he is so stunted. Yeah, I should take him out. Or I should take out that support. That's an idea. Yeah, Calavera can do his dirty work, but we need to make sure he doesn't get healed for 50% of his freaking health, you know? Actually, if I had killed Calavera, I wouldn't have had to worry. I would have been able to kill him anyways. <laughs> Listen, it is one o'clock in the morning. I deserve a break. <laughs> it's fine. We'll take these these guys out. Oh, there's a Valkyrie over there. Yikes. Plus, there's another support anyways. All right, so much for that. We're healing up. I'm going to drink some more coffee and welcome to the game. This, oh, I forgot about that. That's a pretty nifty shortcut, my friend. Oh, thanks for pushing me, by the way. Really could have used that a little bit before. <laughs> All right, well, somehow uh, we managed to do a thing. So I can't reach that. So I should probably, what should, let's see what Yoshi can do. If, oh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need Mario to get out of here. And it sucks that this guy has eight more health because I would have been able to take his ass out. But it takes two. So <laughs> takes two to raise a village. And I can just do this. Right? Can I kill? I should be able to kill this guy, right? With my hammer? I mean, it is the hammer slam after all. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's the other one. If not, Yoshi can do it. 
Ah, there we go. Good. Thank God. <laughs> Man, we're just ripping these guys to shreds. Okay. So, of course, we're going to do this. And we're done -zo. Later days, everybody. Okay, so that must have been like a two-par like challenge, right? Because there's apps I completely forgot about this pipe though that took us completely to the other end of this stage. All right, cool. Well, it's been cleared. Oh, Yoshi shaking his little butt. His little butt. Got all our health back. Oh, it's not going to tell us if we were perfect or not. Well, the nice thing about uh, these challenges is that they actually give us power orbs. So we actually have something to show <laughs> for completing these things. Okay. So we actually wanted to head over here because, yeah. There we go. So this is going to take us back over to that uh, area we were just at. So let's just activate this for a quick shortcut that we're never going to use ever again. And let's get the heck out of here. So we have one more challenge. Excuse me. Wow. And you know what? I just remember what it is. It is back at the place uh, where we had to take a bunch of pipes. Now, did Oh, you know what? You know what was so dumb? The dumbest thing that I think I ever did in this game was that I missed this chest. This one right in the open. <laughs> oh, boy. The nerd. Can you believe it? So that's four. We're missing two more chests. So we'll keep going this way. Because this should take us to our... Here we go. All right. Graveyard tour. Um, let's do it. What you got for me, Mr. Rabbit masquerading as a toad man? Escort toadette in 15 turns. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, didn't we already do this? Or we were escorting toad, right? Okay. That's easy enough, I guess. Yeah, we've done this before, but there's no booze, so it's probably easier. Huh. All right, well, I think I already know how this is going to go. Let's take a look at the battle ba battle hook, and let's go and switch out Rabbit Peach and Luigi. Dumb. Luigi, I don't think, is the greatest choice because going through pipes um, isn't really dictated by your itchy feet, so even if you activate it, you won't go through a pipe any faster. But just in case, let me double check my pipe outage. We're good on that, good on that, and are these full? Are my pipes? Oh, yes, I did buy all of the pipes. Cool. All right, well, hold on. I can't buy anything. Okay. Whew. We're set. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and let's begin. Oh, no. Um. Toadette? Where are you? Where is Toadette? Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me she's at the end. Oh, my good... There she is! Oh no! I was I was not prepared for that. Oh great! Uh, maybe I should have been paying attention, but oh, that changes everything. Okay, since it's gonna take us 29 years to get there, let's just go ahead and get this M power out of the way. Uh, we can go one of two directions. There's some enemies over here. Yeah, there's you right there. I'm thinking maybe we just split up. Um, the interesting thing about this here, let's see what Toadette can do. She's being looked at real, real dirtily by that guy. So we come in through here. Oh, great. We could jump down here and go this way. That could save us a pipe. Uh, well, that's why they gave us 15 turns. Great. All right, well, first things first, I'm just going to have her, uh... Yeah, because, you know, to be completely honest, he's not going to get in. Yeah, he can't get into the pipe. Perfect. So, oh, and there's guys there, too. Ugh. Yeah, we'll, we'll just hide right there. This is bad, you guys. <laughs> All right. So, do I need to use Itchy Feet? I don't think so. I think we're probably fine on not. I'm going to have Rabid Peach go this way. Because she can take out these two guys. And I think I'll have Mario go the other direction to be completely... Oh, I can't. Okay. Well, then, uh, whatever you say there, boss. What can Luigi do? If he goes through here, his dash is only 90. But he could also launch himself off of Peach. So that might not be the worst thing in the world. But she'll still have to kill one of these guys regardless because he's not going to make it through there. All right. 
I know what we're gonna do. Beach, go and attack some dudes. Yeah, that's probably fine. Right? I'm not just completely out of my element. <laughs> All right, here we go. I never wanted to deal with this place again. Ooh, and the up close. Be beautiful, my friend. All right, Mario, your turn. We're gonna head over here. We'll run into you because we can kill you. And because there's nobody in our way, I'm gonna head over here. Actually, you know what? I didn't even check like the tower. Uh oh. I hope there's nobody there. That'd be nice if there wasn't, right? So yeah, nobody over here. Nobody even close to spawning. Uh, luckily, we're not going against peekaboos. There's any enemy that I was really glad that we weren't going to be seeing. It's the the damn peekaboos, you know. All right, uh, your turn, Mr. Slow and Itchy Feet Man. So we'll go and attack this guy, finish him off, and we'll jump across. Jump across, man! Oh, and I can't even kill those guys over there. That would have been kind of cool. Yeah, I can't reach him. Although, unless, maybe if I used my sentry, we'll be fine. Let's give it a let's give it a look, shall we? And not a look, see. All right. Oh yeah, Luigi time attack. Wait, that's an attack from the future, right? Look at this. Look at, look at it. They had no idea. Oh, poor bastards, man. All right, well, maybe not as hard as we gave it credit for. So since there's no enemies around, it would be kind of useless to use the steely stare. So <sighs> let's just wait for this guy to do his dirty work. Can't quite make it. He's a little tired. Oh, here we go. There is a peekaboo. Oh, no. All right, well, uh, it doesn't really matter so much that Toadette is doing her business up here because the second, yeah, although if I did have the itchy feet, I would be able to go through this pipe and we'd be able to go this way. I don't think I want to go that way though. So we go over here. Mario's waiting. Ugh. All right, yeah, maybe we'll have him, her go down here, maybe. Yeah, we'll do something dumb like this. Can she get attacked? Uh, you know what? We'll just get her close, and I'll have Luigi meet up and hopefully save her. So we'll try that. And then we'll be able to use Itchy Feet on the next turn, and then we'll be set. Was the only enemy that spawned the Peekaboo? Because that's kind of what it seemed like. So I'm going to actually wait right here. Or I'm going to be right next to her, because I don't think that guy is going to... He's not going to hurt us. All right. Well, so much for that. All right. Uh, Sure. I'll have Peach wait up here, and she- Ooh, hello. We'll also do this thing. There we go. All right. I want to see what moves this guy has, actually, because he can teleport basically anywhere on the map, and he is not affected by the, uh, by the site. So, so he draws opponents. Uh-oh, and he can snipe the hell out of us. Yeah. Oh, no, he can't reach us. Cool. All right. So I think we're safe from his Song of the Dead. <laughs> Alright, nice. So I'll have Mario up here too, since he doesn't have any multi-attacking moves. I can just hang out here and just maybe take a shot. Hold on, can I attack that guy from far away? No, I can't. I can land here, although I could do this. Ooh. Oh yeah. Hold on. No, that's not going to work. Mario's range is just a little too limited. Okay, well, I guess I'll just wait right here. <laughs> I don't know why I jumped off of Rabbit Peach's head. I honestly cannot tell you why I did that. I think he's the only one that spawned. Whoopsie. Yeah, if I activate this, it's completely useless. No one's going to move into that range. Damn. Well, what a freaking waste of a turn, man. 